Earlier this hour, we showed you these live pictures of a naval C-2 plane which made an emergency landing in Norfolk, Virginia after its landing gear failed. We're joined right now by retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Rick Francona, who's an NBC News military analyst. Colonel Francona, how do you explain this uh, this little event we just watched? Pretty scary. Well, well, he's coming in without his gear down, so obviously he's had some trouble with that, but the, uh, the pilot does a great job here, puts it down safely, and uh, as I know where you were watching it live, uh, we were very concerned about, the, of course, that catching on fire. And you'll notice the crew will be coming out here very quickly now. Uh, this aircraft carries quite a few people. It's, it's a transport aircraft used to move uh, high-priority cargo, mail, and uh, people to and from the carriers. Uh, this is called a COD, Carrier Onboard Delivery, so it's got that hook there that is used to bring it down on a carrier. That's why you see it using the uh, restraining gear there. So, he, he so they were lucky that it was that, that type of plane. So didn't have to slide down the runway very far. So that was lucky that we had a, a, a plane equipped for a carrier landing. Yeah, and, and they, the, uh, all, most airfields, uh, military airfields, are equipped with these restraining cables. Uh, and if the aircraft has a hook, you can slow it down much faster, expose the crew to much less danger. This was, this was a textbook uh, way to land this in an emergency. Let me ask you about the procedures for landing an emergency with regard to a belly landing. You see it in the movies. We've heard about it all our life. But in terms of the pilot, how extreme does the situation have to get? Does he have to be out of fuel? Has he completely given up on his landing gear? Well, I don't know what the Navy, Navy requirements are, are for this, but evidently you know, the pilot has the, the final call on that. Uh, his option would have been to, uh, if they had enough uh, emergency parachutes on board, he could have, he could have uh, uh, had the passengers and then crew jump out, and he could have landed himself. Or, but in this case, he chose to make it. And he, I, I get the assumption he's pretty, uh, pretty. He was pretty certain he could make this landing safely. So this fellow's in for a medal. What do you think? Oh, pretty good landing. Look great as an amateur watching it. I'm sure he's going to get a few beers at the club tonight. <laughs> Colonel Frank, Hunter, anything else we should know about this? Just we were no. just lucky, I guess, to catch this tricky situation on camera. Yeah, I mean, it shows the skill of uh, you know this naval aviator here. He did he did, a, he did a great job. I mean, these aircraft have a tremendous safety record. They're used in in uh, you know very brutal conditions, slamming these things down on the aircraft carriers all the time. Uh, it's a solid air airframe, and the guy just did a great job. Is this going to be a is this a Colonel Francone? Is this going to be a, a training film now? It could be. It could be. It, it's uh, picture perfect, and we were lucky to get it on tape. Okay, thank you very much for joining us, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Rick Francona.